Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. So today we're going to talk about the weekly ups and downs for ranked battle. So again, for the season rules, you have courageous season, all units attack speed at plus 20%. So take note of that when you build your team. So let's take a look at ranked right now. In terms of this week's bands, boom. So we have here a couple of bands twos one band three and two band one so starting with Gayun, um she's not going to be used for quite a while um i'm sure of that a band three is pretty much very expensive at six deployment cost she actually costs right now uh, like a a heal day so it would be impractical to use her next would be band two einstein's way definitely not a go for this week with a four deployment cost with three probably yes at band two as well is going to be young harem at five again obviously you can't use her this week next is going to be band two liu mi at five so you have awakened hill there so why use her because she's banned next would be evelyn keller at four um <clears throat> i think there are some teams or some players that will be using her even if she's banned one and next would be Kyle Wong at man one as well with four and some would be using him as well for teams right now for this week okay let's take a look at the band ships so for the band ships this is going to be good news for those who have been using um what they call this been using lake superior because lake superior is actually free from bands for the first time in a long while if i can remember so again lake superior users abusers they're going to be back and also um enterprise is going to be free with uh, without a ban so ban 2 is going to be new ohio which i saw very rampant use um s1 skill is pretty much insane um it really deserves a band two next would be kamizumi at band one currently i'm still building up my kamizumi so it's okay that it's it's in, it's in band one and you have here glipnir armor type at band one as well for the first time i've seen this ship here so it's banned at band one so again this week it's going to be um abraham for mix Probably you have your enterprise for your soldiers and for your counters and you also have um, Lake Superior of course, which for me I will be using as well for this week for the ups um, You have here Liv Allen. You have here Gabriel and ATB 1B Spear so let's talk more be before I go to the ups. Let's talk more on the units that may be used this week so you have for your defenders obviously it's going to be awakened hilde you'll have a lot of um, you'll see a lot of use for her this week then you have probably on the defender side aside from awakened hilde reginald king if somebody out there is going to use him for your strikers of course you have nanahara Ch chifuyu coming back from ban so she'll be out in uh, in ranked then you have admin sword fighter which i think would be a good replacement for eins and Zwei, um because they're at four but the the admin sword fighter is going to be at three so again they're going to replace eins and Zwei. next would be awakened yumina i think there will be a lot of awakened hilde and awakened Yumi, uh, yumina pairings in this and you have ju Xiong as well to round out um, the list so also guys for your rangers you will have rosaria kang so you will, will actually uh, see action this week and you have elizabeth and shinja to round out your rangers more or less gaining action for this week and support you have claudia arius and regina for your support probably you'll see action for those um for those units as well so snipers by the way are in abundance for this week so more or less you'll be able to choose any of the snipers that are available so no bans for snipers and also one other thing as a tower i think um, that we'll see action will be maria so for me this week it's going to be mostly counters 
and soldiers i don't think mix would be a viable this week especially that uh what you call this that um especially that uh um lake superior is actually out so they're going to have a difficulty tanking on their you know their 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 right most side they, they would like to tank there because lake superior again is has a sandwich skill which again forces the enemies to be in the middle so again for mechs i would highly discourage mechs this week because again you'll have a big disadvantage in terms of um in terms of uh, if you happen to face lake superior um let's take a look at the ups that the first one that i saw was where's atb okay so atb 1b spear so this is a mech so more or less again um this um plane is actually similar to one other mech that i remember i forgot what it is but it's actually your reaper because again for your atb it actually gives you back deployment cost so let's um look at um the skill so basic skill again it's a aoe always appears from the rearmost line moves forward dropping bombs and inflicting AOE damage on the entire field so again basic damage is up to level 5 it's a plus 20. next is your passive skill close air support os so ground ground attacks ground enemies and leaves the field upon reaching the other end of the field successfully escapes restoring one deployment cost so this is similar to reaper damage to reap to rangers and snipers actually are enhanced so to ranger especially it's going to be a plus 40 and also for the first sniper it's going to be a plus 40 as well so again a big blow to the back line so the theme of this week's battle would be focused on defenders and actually strikers so the back line is going to be vulnerable with with if you use this particular mech and also if you use lake superior um it's going to be a hell of a time for the back line okay so passive skill for atb would be assault barrier coating enters the battle with a barrier around it and temporary resists attacks generates a bar equal to 20% of max HP for 3 seconds when deployed. So again, an additional HP maximum of 20% and buyer covers 30% of max HP instead. So that covers ATB 1B Spear. Let's move on to the other two. So you have here... Let's go to Gabriel. Where's Gabriel? Oh, Gabriel. Okay, here you are. So Gabriel is actually a tower, so three cost. Let's take a look at his skill. So kicks leg, basic attack, kicks leg in the in eye in the air, generating a shock wave to attack a target in front. So valid hits is only one. So again, standard is basic attack plus twenty at max. Passive skill is immobile. Gabriel, a real man, knows how to hold his ground. Stands where he is deployed forcing two surrounding units to attack him so he has taunt for six seconds increases evasion by 30 percent for all surrounding units except for defenders so uh gives a bonus hp of plus 20 percent at level four up to level four level five passive buff also adds damage take him minus 40 percent from siege okay so again that is his specialty special kill skill is tornado spin so 22 seconds cooldown valid hits it's two spins with dual swords and shoots a big twister inflicting aoe damage on enemies in front forces the enemies to attack him for five seconds again another taunt so for his passive and special skill damage is a plus 25 percent and level five is damage resistance plus 25 percent for eight seconds after the skill ultimate for gabriel would be um bad ass saves his words 47 second cooldown valid hits three delivers his slash so fast that he momentarily disappears from view as running enemies receive aoe damage invisible while invisible so damage maximum um addition to this the skill is 25 percent up to level four then at level five a cooldown of minus eight seconds which brings it down to 39 seconds again for gabriel um 
it's going to be situational if you have built Gabriel. Um, I think it's it's kind of kind of situational depending on your team comp if you're good to bring him. I don't think I don't think he's a must in your team, especially at three cost. So let's go back first to ATB. For ATB, definitely I'm I'm not recommending bringing ATB, especially with now that mech teams are going to be you know are going to have a hard time in terms of um, in terms of uh, Lake Superior's matchups. I don't think ATB will be used that often. And the last would be Liv Allen. So Liv Allen. Her skills, I think Liv Allen has some potential. I've seen her in action before. So basic skill is Val 3 hit, swings, big pendulum inflicting AoE damage. So again, basic attack is going to be at a plus 20. Passive skills, shake scale, shaking skills, Libra, uh, the blessing restores balance to her motility. Basic attacks increase evasion and attack speed by 4% every time they are performed up to 20 percent so attack is a total of plus 12 percent up to level four level five roll advantage damage resistance plus 30 percent for all allies and herself this is why you bring her and this is why she is the only um unit that i'm i'm recommending that you use for this week provided that you still have space for your roster that is not really crucial to your build and you can slot her in next would be her special skill which is balanced typhoon slowly moves forward with her giant pendulum swinging around her knocking enemies backward with aoe damage okay it's a 22 second uh cooldown skill valid hits is two damage plus 25 percent up to level four and level five damage taken is minus 25 percent during skill okay um she is mostly for damage resistant for her team and for herself then next would be uh, libra meteor which is a 40 second skill valid hits is three and aoe as well detaches her great giant pendulums from the pole and shoots them forward inflicting aoe damage so maximum damage plus 25 percent up to level four then level five cooldown is a minus 10 seconds which brings it to 30 seconds again if you wish to bring her i think she would be the most you know probable that you can bring in your team especially with a weakened heal the damage reduction and heals you can actually bring her as a support for a weakened heal day together with your other hero healers actually in your team so uh, again guys that is it before we go i'd like to show you what my team currently is for rank i actually i i'm i'm showing this late already because i was already playing and more or less testing out what are more most likely the units that can be used for this week so where are we so let's see ranked so let's go back to rank so currently surprisingly i was able to climb up to I'm actually right now at, uh, let's see if I can see. I'm at uh, Platinum 4. I was able to climb with this team already. Um, I had a frustration last week. I couldn't climb to Platinum 4 with my other team. But right now, I, I'm bringing this one. So Awakened Hilde, you have there Rosaria, you have Chifuyu, you have Claudia, Sylvia. Oh, sorry, not this one. Wrong team. This one. So again, you have Awakened Hilde. You have Chifuya, you have your sword fighter, your administrative sword fighter, which is actually, they're actually pretty much very good in terms of damage dealing. They, you can really, you can really um, put them behind Hilde while they, you know, while they distribute or while they dish out damage. Next would be Claudia Nelson, terrific healer. Next you have Sylvia. Sylvia is here for her stuns and of course for her um, ultimate skill next is actually going to be Kang So Yoon. she's just more or less an anu uh, nuisance in this team and probably just a distraction for herself and for her for the shield man or the strong stronghold that, that's coming out of the car next would be again you have yumina because i've i've encountered a lot of soldier teams already very fast and um from what i see sometimes 
Yumina is going to be your solution. Sometimes. I'm not saying always. But it's good to have her there because, again, this team is not really fast. The average cost is 3.63. And next is, to round out the list, you have their Rosaria, which is a staple usually if she's out. Okay, guys. So... That is it for this week's ups and downs for ranked uh, battles for PvP. Um, thank you guys for staying this far in this video. Also, consider subscribing if you find this content very useful. And also, don't forget to click the bell icon and click the like button as well. Guys, take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.